Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a let's talk getting ready video. This is kind of a new um, video I'm going to try doing and if you do like them then please let me know and I will continue to do stuff like this. I am using like a new bronzer today and um, I'm not doing too crazy but I'm going to show you guys my favorite fall palette. I really wanted to do this video to show you guys that. The first thing I'm going to do is apply my uh, favorite foundation of the moment. This is the Revlon Color Stay in uh, medium beige. Since I'm not really self tanning a lot lately, um, I'm kind of light, so I need to step up my game. And now that we are in HD, you can really see that my skin is very red and it's very not perfect. So for all you out there who think I don't need makeup or something that even out my skin tone, I do. <laughs> Um, so I'm just taking the foundation with the Sigma F88 brush, um, and I'm going to apply this all over my face. I think I'm going to start looking for a high-end foundation, um, just to have, because I do, I like the way high-end foundations make my skin look, and how flawless they make them look and everything. But this is a great drugstore foundation, I've said that before, um, it's really great. But I'm going to be comparing the whipped and the liquid very very soon. Um, I kind of have an idea on what I like and what I don't like and um, which one's better and all that so I'll be showing you guys that very very soon. Okay so that foundation did a pretty good job at evening out my skin tone but I still see redness peeking through so I'm taking the Dermablend Concealer in Sable. I'm going to apply this on my redness. I got completely hounded in my uh, video where I just used this concealer and powder. Um, the whole point of that video was to show you guys what I use when I don't wear foundation. That's how I get a nice finish, my even skin tone without foundation. Um, and I used this concealer and I got a whole lot of, you just should have used foundation because you used it all over your face. I really only apply it right here in my cheeks where it's really, really red. And then like if I have any acne, which I had some on my forehead and I of course put some up there, but I have to blend it out. You know what I mean? So it looks like I'm going to apply it all over my face, but I don't know. It's personal preference. I wasn't trying to get a rise out of any of you like I did. I didn't expect it to be as big of a deal as people made it, but the whole point of that video was just to show you guys what I do when I don't wear foundation. So I'm sorry if you didn't like it. I know a lot of you didn't, um, but it's just what I do, so I liked it. <laughs> I haven't really been using my Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer because it's just so expensive and I don't feel like using it up. Um, so I'm just going to take this one by Rimmel. I've been using it pretty much every day. And I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes. Triangle motion. And a lot of people asked why I applied this so heavy in that video. Um, this is not a heavy concealer at all. And it's a really kind of sheer concealer too. It's not really full coverage at all. It just brightens up underneath your eyes is what it all really does. I just apply it in the triangle motion because it's just my preference. I like it that way. <laughs> I swear, I got hounded in that video. Completely, completely hounded. But it's okay. Everybody has their own opinion. But I felt like I would address why I used concealer in that video. Okay, so now that we got our concealer on, I'm going to take... The Makeup Forever HD powder. Put that right where I put any concealer. This powder is so great at just setting your concealer. It makes it matte. You should have a nice little flawless finish. I think I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. So I'm gonna take a big powder brush too. Oh, I have one right here. I keep forgetting I have brushes right here. I'm just going to kind of put this all over so just mats my skin. I just love this one. Okay, so I'll finish the rest of my face um, later. But I'm going to go ahead and put my eyes. I'm using my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. A lot of you ask me if I like Painterly. Never tried Painterly. Soft Ochre was um, what the guy gave me at MAC like a year and a half ago when I got this. And I've loved it. It's just a really great paint pot like the primer it's just it's just perfect keeps my colors on all day and it creates a really nice base for me so I love it okay so my favorite favorite palette of the moment especially for fall I think this is just such a great palette 
is the Maybelline Eye Studio Limited Edition Palette. So this is Limited Edition. It's out right now. Um, this is in Cozy Cashmere. So this is what it looks like. It is such a gorgeous palette. I'm obsessed with it. The colors are so pigmented and the colors are just perfect for fall. I'm obsessed with this. I'm going to show you kind of a darker look um, that I would use for this. And if you guys are interested in seeing like an everyday, what would be a great everyday fall look that's nice and kind of light but really pretty, um, let me know and I'll do that too. Um, but I'm just going to take the large shader brush and I'm going to take that little champagne kind of color. I'm going to apply this one all over my lid. See, just one swipe and it is so pigmented. Jeez, I love it. So, all over the lid. And I'm also going to put some underneath my brow. Now I'm going to take just a fluffy brush, whatever blending brush, brush you want to use. And I'm going to take this like plummy color right there on the end. And I'm going to put this in my crease and do it really lightly too. You could totally just build this color up. So I'm just lightly going to blend this in my crease. Just kind of doing swirly motions and working my way in. Just like that. So the other eye. So now I'm going to take just an angled shadow brush. I'm going to take this color. It's like a dark brown color with, I don't know, specks of, what would you call it? I don't know, but I'm taking this one. And I'm putting this in the outer V. Very lightly. So just like that. And I'm going to kind of just work it right there in that outer V just to deepen it up. You don't want to take this in too far. Just like that. And then I'm just going to take that same blending brush that I use and I'm just going to sort of blend that color a little bit so it's not super, super harsh. Okay, now I'm going to take this color. It's like an orange, like a burnt orange color, I guess you could say. Right to you. So I'm just going to take a pencil brush, put it in that orange, I'm putting this um, underneath my lower lashes. And I'm just going to kind of connect it also to this little, where you did that V. So then I'm just taking it under. So that's a nice pop of color. I like it. So put that underneath just to sort of smoke it out. I'm take that blending brush. Just kind of blend a little bit. Okay, so now I'm just going to line my eyes. This has been my favorite liner for the month. I didn't like it at first, but once I started using it, I was like, oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's just one of my favorites. So I'm going to show you up close. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Liner. It is sort of a felt tip liner, but it's literally one of the best ones ever. It's so black, and it's just the bomb. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... So I'm just going to do a winged liner because it's like my favorite thing ever. I always do it. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to take my favorite pencil liner of the moment. This is the L'Oreal Hip Liner. That's what it looks like. Just a regular liner. You know, whatever works for you. Apply that to my waterline. I have a trio of mascaras that I love, but I literally lost a mascara. Like, it just disappeared from my makeup collection. I don't even know where it went. But it's the L'Oreal Collagen Mascara. It's like the all black tube. Like, it's completely black. Um, and then I used the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume and the Lash Perfection with it. But since I don't have it, I'm going to use them in the same way I would have used with the other mascara. I'm just going to um, use the Turbo in replace of that, so... I'm going to just curl my lashes and apply some mascara. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to just 
kind of blot my face again. This is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I'm obsessed, obsessed with this. I'm going to have to buy a new one soon. I'm running out. Um, so I'm just going to apply this on my face. And I'm actually going to be using a new bronzer today. Um, it's from Revlon. I don't know if you guys have tried it before. But it's the Revlon Photo Ready Bronzed and Chic. That's what it looks like. I feel like, I've tried this before, I feel like the bronzer would be a lot better if it didn't have like this color. Because this color kind of makes everything look very orange. But I kind of focus my brush down here on the lower half. So I'm just going to take my brush, focus it in there. I'm just going to kind of put this where I put a contour. So. I like this bronzer for everyday use and I'm just going to blend really quickly then I'm applying one of my favorite blushes of the moment this is Rimmel's lasting finish blush in spring flower this you could also use instead of like using a contour or something because it's so pretty and this color kind of acts as a contour shade but I'm going to use it because I love it so just applying this on my cheeks a lot of people say this isn't really pigmented but if you have like a darker skin tone I wouldn't say it's going to show up very well on you but if you kind of have like lighter skin or something like that you would really like this I think it's really great and I've used it a lot um, my crown's starting to go away on it so I love it and then I'm just going to top everything off with a lip gloss I've had somebody ask me why I don't wear lip products a lot and that's because it's just not a priority for me so I'm just going to take this NYX lip gloss in sugar pie <gasps> I just dropped a lot on the chair <laughs> and I'm going to apply that on my lips just to give some shine and that's pretty much it. I love this palette so much. If you haven't picked it up, you really should because I feel like you will be obsessed with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like it if you liked it. And I will see you all in my next video.